immediately cover the hand and make it part of you and not allow him. If you, what I saw, <laughs> if you tug down, he will be able to easily tug up. Just tug up and pull up. This makes him strong. Pull up. Back. Because you, now this, pull up. That happens. So you press. You don't, you don't do that. Now the nicest thing is you, you like show him the knife, right? You can finish it several ways. You can go around and do a sankyo or whatever. Or you can just finish it that way. This is the most important part. Right? Pull up! He should be uh, <laughs> This is why he's here. I mean he's here to catch your throat. Right? So, you know, now this is the best way out, but he could try to block that way out. Don't, yeah, put your hip there. Then you cover it this way. So you can't block both ways out. Generally, though, because he's coming around, this is a nice way out. Notice I just transfer, and I never let the let it be off. So there's there's one if you want to try that. You come this way too. Thank you. Or maybe you can't get there. So that's that's turning his body and bowing. Bow, elbow drop. That's again most likely if he's put your hip over here. Oh, he's guarding me. Oh. And again, you know, I have my my favorite little thing here. Oh, uh, notice since it's here, I'll be cutting myself if I touch this. You need to be careful. You know, you kind of get a little cut up, maybe. This one I wouldn't recommend. Ah! Just because it's, your life will flash before your eyes. But as long as that you will definitely have to keep it pressed. Otherwise, you know, if you let it loose, your life. So you, you keep it pressed. It's a uh, capital push. Very stressful kind of technique. It's a fun part. Yeah, yeah, whatever you like to do from there. <laughs> <laughs>